Calculations involving molarity is probably one of the more important topics that we talk about in general chemistry. And these calculations are used in just about every science. And so it's very likely uh, if you do become a scientist that you're going to run into molarity type of problems. Before we talk about molarity, we need, need to define, define what a solution is. So remember, a solute is dissolved in a solvent to produce a solution. So we need to define these things. So to, if I took uh, sodium chloride salt and dissolved it in water, what I would create is a solution. And inside of that solution, the NaCl would be the solute and the water would be a solvent. So we need these definition, definitions to understand molarity. What molarity is, is a measure of the concentration of a solute in a solution. And this is so important because in chemistry, when we do reactions, uh, typically the, the reactants are dissolved in a solvent. Very rarely do we do uh, reactions where we take two solids and actually uh, mix them together to try to get a reaction. Normally when we do reactions, uh, the reactants are dissolved in a, a liquid or a solvent. And so that's the idea that um, being able to understand the concentration or how much solute is in a given amount of uh, solution is very, very important. So molarity is a measure of the concentration of solute inside of a solution. And so we want to look at some of the fundamental calculations that, uh, that we can do with molarity. So molarity, uh, the unit on it is abbreviated uh, w with a uppercase M. And you got to remember this uppercase M really means mole per liter. But we use molarity so often and it is uh, very common to just use the uh, uppercase M. So molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by the volume of solution in liters. And so this is an important idea. Uh, later on or next semester, we're gonna talk about different uh, ways that you can measure concentration. And uh, there's always subtle differences. And the important thing to remember here in molarity is that we're looking at the volume of the solution, not the, not the solvent. And so this comes into play and we'll look at this in just a minute. The other thing that's really important is you gotta remember that the volume is in liters. And uh, this is kind of tricky because when you're in a lab, typically graduated cylinders are in milliliters. So converting milliliters to liters and vice versa is a very uh, common calculation that we do. So if I take this idea and I put it more uh, basically into an equation, we say M is equal to N over V. So molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by the volume of solution in liters. And I'll say, as a chemistry teacher, probably one of the most common mistakes I see on exams period is the failure to convert to milliliters to liters or vice versa on exams. So you gotta remember that in volumes needs to be in liters when you're dealing with molarity. So it's a very common mistake. So when you're inside the lab, typically the units you're gonna get are milliliters and you gotta to remember to convert to liters to calculate a molarity. Very, very common mistake. So it's something that you always keep in your mind when you're dealing with molarity. So uh, two kind of common examples. The first one is to calculate the uh, molarity of a given solution. So here, I take a certain quantity of potassium permanganate and I add enough water to create a 250 milliliter solution. And I ask, what's the molarity of the solution? So uh, here in chemistry, how you word things is very important. So notice I didn't say I added 250 milliliters of solvent. I added enough liquid to make the overall solution 250 milliliters. So the idea there is that this potassium permanganate actually affects the overall amount or the, the volume of the solution. And so molarity considers that. So uh, what you end up doing is taking a specific uh, device called a, um, a volumetric flask that holds 250 milliliters. Uh, you add your solute, in this case potassium permanganate, and then you f uh, fill it with liquid to a specific mark that says, that you're gonna have 250 milliliters of solution. So it a, 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 seems to be a very minor concept, but it's actually very important. So we don't add 250 milliliters of solvent, uh, 
we add enough solvent to, to make the solution 250 milliliters, and that's by definition for um, molarity. So I want to calculate the molarity for our potassium permanganate, so it is moles divided by volume in liters. So I have grams. Remember, I don't want grams in this case, so I want moles of potassium permanganate. So to find moles of potassium permanganate, I take the grams and I divide by the molecular weight of potassium permanganate. So I go to the periodic table, I find the weight of each of the elements inside of there, and I add them all together to get to the molecular weight of potassium permanganate. So I take grams divided by molecular weight, that gives me the number of moles of potassium permanganate. The other thing is my volume is given to me in milliliters. I want liters. So to go to milliliters to liters, you divide by a thousand. And so after you do this a few hundred times, you actually get to where you can kind of see that uh, 250 is 0.25 liters. But that's just what I remember. So uh, take milliliters, divide by a, th a thousand, and then that gives you liters. So I take my moles of my solute, my uh, potassium permanganate, divided by the volume of the solution, which is my 0.25 liters. And when I'm done, I get that the molarity of this solution is 0 0.0100 molar. So you're gonna find uh, this is very, something that we do quite a bit inside of the lab is to make a solution of a specific molarity. Um, probably more importantly, uh, the calculation that we use is to say uh, how many moles are in a specific amount of solution. So this gets down into reactions where we want to know um, how much of each species that we're mixing together, like in a limiting reactant problem. So the question here is, is how many moles of NaCl are in 0.1 milliliter of 2.5 molar in NaCl? So I take my molarity equation, molarity is equal to mole divided by volume, and what I'm asking for here is how many moles are in a specific amount of my solution, my 2.5 molar NaCl. I saw this equation for N, and that says that if I take the molarity of the solution, multiply the volume of that solution in um, milliliters, I multiply those two numbers together, that'll tell me how many moles of my solute are inside of uh, that volume of this, uh, the solution. So here I take 0.1 milliliters, once again I divide by a thousand to get to liters, I multiply by my molarity, which is 2.5 molar, and I, that tells me how many moles of my solute are in solution. Uh, so we're gonna see this again pretty soon, but the idea is during reactions, we wanna know how many moles of reactants. And so it's very common to take uh, two different solutions with two different molarities and combine them together. And you wanna know how many moles of uh, each species that you have when you're combining them together. So this is a very uh, common calculation and I just remember that molarity times volume is e equal to mole.